In CTI, there's something that everyone is doing, which is a bit painful to do, uh, but we have to do, is geolocations. Um, so if you're using MaxMind, you sometimes have to complain because you have to go to the MaxMind web page, uh, download the link, and to send your email address, and if you want to have uh, historical data, uh, you need to buy it. Um, so sometimes what people are doing is they are going on some obscure website on the internet for doing the geolocation, they enter an IP and they got the look, uh, look back and so on, but you know, you are basically feeding the data. So at the office, we were kind of complaining about that and so we should find a solution to that and to help everyone. So um, we designed a, a tool called MMDB server. Um, so for the one that know uh, MaxMind, the format itself is open. So that's, um, you can basically write your own MaxMind files, even with your own sources. Um, so what we decided to do is to basically make, make a completely open and free MaxMind-like database that everyone can download. Um, the thing is, very often when you do forensic analysis, you want to have historical data. So if you have logs for like, I don't know, two months ago, usually maybe the geolocations might have changed of the IP addresses and so on. And if you want to go backward for one year, same issues. Um, so we basically provide databases that are regularly updated on a day-to-day -day basis, um, and then you can basically use those ones. Um, the thing that we uh, did too is, um, as a standard uh, MaxMind uh, format, you can basically just replace a file with our uh, GeoOpen files. Um, the file is, is completely uh, uh, free. In addition to that, we develop a tool called MMDB Server, which is an open source server that you can use to load the MMDB files and do query through an API. Um, this one is pretty standardized. Uh, you have plugins for MISP and other tools. Um, and this one is basically doing an IP lookup, you get the location, and you get even, um, with some database that we provide to, the ISN lookup automatically, and you get the history of it. Uh, and you can basically run locally, it's super fast, you don't need to do query on the internet, and you can run it within your CTI team, and so on. So if you are curious, you can basically get the MMDB server, and if you want to have the files themselves, we are just publishing them on cra.circle.lu slash open data slash geo dash open, and then you have there the historical data set for either the locations or the um, ISN one. If you are super lazy and you still want to feed our, uh, I would say, trade intelligent stuff, you can do lookup directly on our uh, public services. So you can just test. This one is exactly the same on the one that we uh, open source. Um, and if you are curious, you can basically do even a lookup. So if you, you write a malware and you want to know your IP addresses, you can use this interface too. It's, it's nice for us because you can, you know, can get information. Um, and it works for IP, IPv4 and IPv6, so like that you can even try for IPv4 and IPv6 networks. And you have a quick um, lookup API where you just do a geo lookup with the IP that you want, IPv4 and IPv6, and you get the geolocations. Thank you.